Hey everybody, I spent a lot of time mid journey lately creating some really cool logos. Like this cool owl will be a good start for Design Studio logo. This one needs some touch ups, but maybe a hair salon? Nice claim one for a landscaping company. Fun idea for a brewery. Really cool retro for a cookie company and a food business. Another fun retro one. How about this for a travel adventure company? And even a personal brand. The other ones look pretty decent as well, I must say. My name is Ben, and in this video I'll show you a process for generating unique logos in mid journey and share some tips and tricks along the way. And you want to stick around to the end because I'll show you how to fix the text and the logos for free in Canva. The first step in the process is to use the Mid Journey web app to get some inspiration from other people's prompts. This is going to save you a lot of time in trial and error. First go to the community feed on the left here and then in the search bar just type in logo and search for that. A couple of things a warning though. Right now the web app is a bit buggy so it doesn't always return the results. So you just have to keep refreshing until you get the results. And also you do need a paid version of Mid Journey to be able to do this search. So if you don't have that one, you won't be able to search. You can still look at the community feed but you can't do the searching. So now that we're getting back all the prompts from the community that have the word logo in it, go through them all and evaluate which ones you like. And if you find what you like, you click on the three dots here and you can say copy prompt. So it's gonna put it into your clipboard and then you can take that to whatever note taking app you use and put it in there. So looking through these, this is actually a good, good example. By default, what you're gonna see is a lot of them that are really complex and too complex for a business logo. So for example, like try getting this one into like Instagram profile picture. It's just gonna be too much. It looks really great, but it's just too much for a logo. So I usually find ones more like this, this hawk here. So you look at this one and you look at the prompt on this, it was uh, had words in there like white background, simple, minimalist, vector. So now that you have an idea of what you like, let's hop into Discord and start generating some logos. And if you don't have a paid account, you couldn't do step one, don't worry, I'll show you some prompts that work really well for me. I'm on my private Discord server. And if you want to know how to add the Mid Journey bot to your own Discord server, I'll link a video to that in the description. The first thing you want to do is create a new text channel and just create a one specifically for this logo you're generating. So I created one called Business Logo. This is going to keep all your logo design ideas separated from everything else. So let's start with our first Imagine command. And I'm going to put in the prompt, logo for coffee company, simple minimalist, organic, high quality, natural white background. And a couple of the key ones in here is white background. So it usually respects that and does give it a white background. So that's really useful to get the logo off and make it transparent afterwards. Also, the word minimalist, I've seen in all, most of the logos I like, the word minimalist is in there. Same with the word simple. And organic's also another one that gonna give you kind of that organic, natural look. So there's a few logos, they're okay. To be honest, I'm not overly impressed with these ones. So let's try another prompt that I've had some success with. Let's try pop style logo for coffee company, minimalist white background. To be honest, I'm not sure what pop style means. I just found it in, when I was doing step one for myself, I found it in some other ones I liked and I'd used it a few times. It got me some really nice results. In the description, I'll put in all these ones that, I, that I've used and had success with so you can try them yourself. Yeah, so these ones I like a lot better, especially this third one here. I think that's a really, it'll be a really nice logo for a coffee company, nice and simple. And that pop style logo in the prompt's a real winner in my opinion. So another one I really like is the vintage and retro keywords in the prompt. So let's try that one. Yeah, I think I'm just a bit of a sucker for a vintage logo, but I really like this first one here. Another one I found was eSports logo. So let's just do eSports logo for a carpenter. And these look really cool. Maybe a bit too complicated, but I think these have potential and it kind of goes to that cartoony effect you see on work vans and stuff these days. I think you generate some really fun logos that you sport in the prompt. After you've gone through some trial and error for a while, trying different prompts, and you finally find something you like, where you have maybe like three of the four, or maybe like one out of the four or a lot, what you want to do next is just smash a reroll button. So it's got a little reroll button here. What that does is creates, basically runs the command again. And there's a lot of randomness in Mid Journey. So if you keep generating it, like do it like 20 times, you'll start getting a whole bunch of ideas from that same prompt. So if we go back down here, it shows it actually gets queued. So the job gets queued. So you don't have to worry about it. Just, you know, go grab a coffee or whatever and let all these produce. And at the end of it, you're gonna see a bunch of them. You can pick the ones you like the best. So that took a few minutes, but now they're all generated. And all you have to do is just look through them all and just upscale the ones you like. That one looks pretty good. Let's upscale that one. I think that one's got some potential. And obviously keep in mind that every time you do this, it takes credits. Like it takes an image credit every time you upscale something. But I think it's important that you have all these samples to go with and you pick the best ones. It kind of narrows down to get your exactly what you want in a logo. Okay. So we found a few logos we really like. The last step is just to pick one that we like the best and then fix the text because majority doesn't do text. Usually I use Photoshop for this, but I'll show you another way you can do it for free with an online tool called Canva. Once you can log into Canva, just go on top here and say create a design and then just pick logo. It'll give you a 500 pixel by 500 pixel logo. So next go over to the uploads 
tab on the left and just upload the version you got on Discord from Mid Journey. And so here's the here's the logo I got out of there. So you just drag it over there and then just resize it to fit in the 500 by 500. Now the first step is this one's actually pretty easy to get rid of. So you have the background color here, then you have your text on top. So what you gotta do is just go to elements under lines and shapes, just grab the rectangle. So once you have the rectangle, you can change the color here. And the nice thing the camera does is it brings in all the colors from the image automatically. So under photo colors, it'll have all the, all the background colors. You can just pick the background color. And then all you have to do is just draw these boxes to cover up the existing text. And so basically we're, we're gonna cover all the text up and then put additional layer of our own text on top of it. And if you need multiple boxes to cover it up, you can just right click on it and say duplicate. And then I'll get another one on top that you can use to keep covering it up. All right, there, I got them all covered up. I mean, it's not the most elegant solution, but it gets the job done. So next step is, is add text, so just go in the text on the left and just go to add a new heading. And let's call this one Trailblaze Adventures. And let's take for the font, let's go with the retro font. I think that would look nice for a nice retro image. We'll go with bright retro. And then if you need to bend it around an image, you just go to effects and down under shape, you say curve. And then you can just uh, select how much you want to bend it. And let's just bump the font up a little bit. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Not bad for 10 minutes work. And the thing I really love about doing these logos like this in Mid Journey is it makes them so unique. The way Mid Journey works, there's a lot of randomness involved and so you never really get the same image twice. You could go to like a logo maker, even Canva has one. But I find the Mid Journey ones are so much cooler and so much more unique. I hope you learned something. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.